Inventor lets you choose any number of closed profiles to use for the extrude. This is helpful because it allows you to create complex sketches that can be used for multiple features. In order to do this, however, you must have a sketch visible in the browser. If I try to start an extrude without this, Inventor will let me know that no sketches are visible. I could create a new one, but since I already have a sketch in the browser with the profile I need, all I have to do is expand it, right-click on the sketch, and select Visibility. Now that it's visible, I can select the Extrude icon, and the options for the Extrude feature appear. With the Profile button active, I can select the circular shape and give it a new depth. Let's talk for a moment about some of these extents options. Instead of typing in a distance, I could use some surrounding geometry to tell Inventor the depth for this extrude. If I had another solid body in this part here, I could use the Next option, which would extend the extrude all the way up to the next body. The Next Extends option we have here is 2. This option lets you select a model surface to define the depth for the extrude. When I select it, an arrow button is depressed, which lets you select the face of the model for the termination surface. This builds in some design intent, so that if this face were ever to be modified, this extrude would always terminate wherever the face may be. The next option you have is Between. This lets you select the beginning and end faces for the extrude even if the beginning face is not on the same plane as your original sketch. The extrude will always go between the two faces you select. Finally, the last option here is All. This lets you extrude the profile through all features and sketches in the specified direction. This option is particularly useful when adding cuts which we'll go to next.